here from NorCal Brewing Solutions. Hey, so about a week ago or so, I got an email um, on our, from our website, the Ask Jaybird section of our website. Somebody emailed me and said, hey, I've got your CO2 harvesting system. I noticed you guys do a lot of ultimate stuff. Can you develop a ultimate CO2 harvesting system that completely blows away everything else? And so I took the challenge, and this is what we've come up with. And I'm actually really excited about this. is very, very cool. So what I've got here is our CO2 harvesting system that we normally have, which is just the, um, the two nipple or the four nipple and the two nipple caps. And what we've done is we actually welded caps on here so we can screw on CO2 in ball lock connections. And then we've got this little ball lock connect that goes between the two of them. Why would we do that, you ask? Well, what we've also done is we've added a pressure relief valve to this cap. So now what happens is you can fill up this jar with water just like you normally would with our CO2 harvesting system. During fermentation, this jar, just like our other system, would be filled up with water. And during fermentation, CO2 would come in, transfer the water into here, harvesting our carbon dioxide. So during fermentation, if you watch right down here, we would be pushing this out. Right now I'm just using a keg, um, pressurizing my vessel with carbon dioxide. Um, and so this vessel here is now carbon dioxide from fermentation was going in here, filling this up with carbon dioxide and then transferring the liquid over in here. So we'll speed this up just a hair. Just like so. Okay? So now, when you're about ready to cold crash your fermentation, the reason we've done this is to harvest this carbon dioxide to go back into the vessel. Well, a lot of people have vessels that are going to have more needs of CO2 than what we can possibly harvest here. So what we did is made this a ball lock connection to where you can actually just take your CO2 that you would normally have and connect it on here. We did a pressure relief valve right here so you can set this up for about one pound and as you're cold crashing your fermentation and the temperature drops, it's wanting to draw carbon dioxide in, you can set your CO2 tank and regulator for about one pound and that's going to feed enough CO2 in here to make sure that you have an oxygen free environment in here when you cold crash. So I appreciate the, uh, the email, challenge has been taken and um, I took it to heart. Um, I hope you guys like it and uh, this will be up on our website soon. Cheers.